Some legends are told, some tend to tell some Do you will remember me? Remember me for centuries What the fuck? What's up guys? Welcome to my bullshit. My name is Cameron and this is Cam's Bullshit. This is the first episode of the podcast. Got a drink out of my left hand, which I'm not used to because my right hand, I usually drink out of that one over here, but I got the mic stand in the way. Sometimes using your left hand is just, just feels better, but whatever, man. Welcome to the podcast. I appreciate you guys being out here. I'm not being out here. Actually, I'm act. I'm like, what am I at a fucking concert or some shit? <laughs> I appreciate you guys being out. Oh my God, dude. What? I appreciate you guys coming out to to turn on your cell phones and no, for real though. I appreciate you guys checking in, um, checking this out, dude. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about all sorts of shit, man. There's no one, uh, there's no one topic to this podcast. I can't do a podcast on one topic because my brain goes 100 miles per hour in all different directions. And yeah, man, a lot, I've been through a lot of different things in life. I wear a lot of different styles on my body, so. And my brain is goes a lot of different places all at once. So you're going to hear a lot of rabbit holes during this. But also just want to put this out there. I'm not sponsored by Voodoo Ranger, unfortunately. I'm just drinking this. And I like drinking out of the tall boy um, can because it feels nice. And it tastes amazing. But so here we are. And I'm like thinking about podcasts for the longest time. I was like, dude, I should make a podcast because this, this shit could be kind of cool. This shit could be kind of fun. You know, even if only a few people listen to it, bro. Some of the shit that my brain just goes places and I think it's hilarious. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to be laughing at myself. No one watches that. And that no one watches this English language. Can't do it. Going to go to college. Going to fail that class, but it's okay. Um, but for real, I was trying to come up with a... Um, a name dude and i had all these i had like a few names and i obviously got to research them and be like okay i hope this isn't already a podcast because if it is then you can't name it that way because they probably own the rights to their name or you just don't want to be a copy of someone else right so cam's bullshit man i'm cameron and we're going to talk about all sorts of bullshit and it's going to be fun sometimes it's going to get really deep sometimes i'm just going to we're just gonna joke around and have fun man so if you're in the car if you know me and you're just tuning in for the sport i appreciate that if you're on a road trip bro we're about to have a hilarious time today and if you're just at home cooking dinner that's usually when i listen to podcasts um dude fucking rock out hope you're making chicken and rice so you can get swole as fuck but that's none of my business all right Here's the thing, man. My name's Cameron. I already said that, but my name's Cameron Knox, and I am from Pennsylvania, dude. I grew up in a very uh, small town. I graduated in a, a class of 159 students in my senior class in 2017. That gives you my age, which is 23 years old. I am a young lad, but sometimes I feel like I'm old as fuck. Anyways, maybe it's my soul. I'm just old soul. Just kidding. I'm a young soul, baby. I'm a kid, bro. I act like I'm 12. Okay, to carry on with this shit. Anyways, um, when I was 16, I was hellbound. Or actually, when I was 16, I would have said, no, 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 I wasn't hellbound. I was heavenbound, bro, because I was obsessed with Christian religion, bro. Not like the Catholic thing, just the Protestant, just, you know, out there being obsessed, bro. I got super into the church. I used to preach at my youth group. And I used to, I actually wanted to be a minister, uh, specifically a youth pastor. And I was trying to start my own business. I took a gap year and I would like go around to churches and be like, hey, like here's my business card. I'll speak here. And my title was the ambassador of Jesus, bro. And this is the funniest thing that I'll probably ever say on this. Just kidding. It's not that funny. But I used to have a YouTube channel and post the videos of me like talking about the Bible and whatever. And I just want you guys to know, if you're religious watching this, I don't hate religious people. I'm just no longer there. Um, and I'm going to talk a lot about that. So maybe you guys would be interested in staying tuned. If you, whatever you believe, bro, doesn't matter. We're not deep here. Sometimes we get deep, but we don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Everyone is welcome here, bro. And I'll make, I'm going to make jokes. I'm going to make fun of stuff. But honestly, bro, don't get offended. And if you do get offended, I'm sorry that you got offended. I'm sorry that you get offended so easily because... You know, there's no need to. Life's too short to get offended and be uptight. So I was taking a gap year after high school. I was a line cook in a steakhouse. I was cooking steak. I was cooking chicken, working with a lot of people that made me laugh all the time. It was hilarious. It was fun. I had a good time. I had long hair. It was rocking, dude. I had a great time. But eventually, and sometimes in life, 
like when you're made for more, you just get this feeling of desire. Like you want it. You want something more. You aren't satisfied. There's some, you need something else. And that's what it was at the time. I, uh, a year before I was getting ready to join the army, my high school relationship had ended. So I was going through a lot of emotional stuff over the year of 2017 and around the year of 28, the beginning of 2018 is when I enlisted and I left for the army three weeks later. It was a very, very, I guess some people call it a rash, rash decision. It kind of came out of nowhere. Um, but I've always wanted to serve. I really did. When I was in, in middle school, I was actually hell bent then because I wasn't religious <laughs> on being a Marine. I want to be a Marine so, so bad. So then I kind of went through this phase in high school where I became like very religious, like, and I think maybe I just returned to my roots of who I was as a kid, man. And I was like, you know what? And then I learned about all the benefits that the army has to offer. And it's insane to hear today though. I am out of the army and I did four and a half years. It was a great time. It was a wild time in my life. Dude, there's a freaking bug on top of my beer, bro. Oh my God. We're in, dude, I got a bug problem. We'll talk about that some other time. Not like a bug problem in my place but a bug problem isn't like every time i itch i like think there's bugs on me or something i don't know it's weird maybe i'm a schizophrenic i don't know don't have a therapist don't need one don't need medication but it's cool um i got voodoo ranger it's cool no i'm just kidding <laughs> but anyways so there i was very unsatisfied going through a lot of emotional pain a lot of different situations back home home was very small and i but that's all i was ever used to so that's okay but i, 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 had, I had this hunger to do something bigger and better and um, that that just happened to be the army, bro. Army, I met the greatest people in my life, um, the best friends. Um, I got like three best friends from high school, and then the rest are in the army, man, or from the army, I should say. Um, but yeah, man, it's crazy. It's a good time. It's a hard time. I recommend it to anyone. If you're a young guy, a young girl, and you want to serve your country, bro, go do it. It's not super common nowadays. Got a lot of people hating on this patriotism thing. A lot of these extreme people think it's bad to love your country because your country is such bad shape. But let me tell you, there's so many countries out there that fought for um, freedom and they have it, man. And they're proud of their country too. So if you're proud of your country, if you want to go serve, bro, do it. It's a way to, obviously there's, there's things up higher that will, dude, we're going to get into all this dirty stuff, bro. Not like dirty stuff with the army, but like just all this details about religion, about like stories about the military, all this stuff that you guys want to stay tuned for, man. And also I'm going to take, like if you guys want to hear about something specific, bro, drop it in the comments and I'll talk about it. But the thing is, is if you want to like grow, if you really, really want to grow, the number one thing I would say to do is leave your hometown. You need to leave your hometown. You need to get away from the people who raised you. You need to get away from the friends that you had when you were younger. You need to get away. And I'm not saying that you break those relationships, obviously. Every time I came home, I was so close with my family. I stayed in touch with my family. I would hang out with my friends. I haven't seen my friends in a year and a half and I come home and it's like nothing ever happened. Like nothing changed. And those are real friends, man. But I'm saying in order to grow as a person, you need to get out there. You need to get out of your comfort zone. And that's what the military does. I usually recommend the army to people because yes, I'm biased, of course, but also the army is very big and it has a lot of different jobs that if you meet the requirements, you get to do them. Uh, the Marines is a little more hardcore. And then you got the, unless you're doing special operations in any branch, but then the Navy and obviously the Air Force are a little on the softer side. But literally, if you join them too, man, it's going to change your life drastically for the better. But let me also put this out there, that if you do join and if you do do that thing and you go out and you, you be like whatever for your country, it's probably not going to be what you expect. And also, you're probably going to go through some of the hardest times that you have gone through in your life. And this isn't like some crazy like combat thing that I'm talking about. I just mean being in that situation. Sometimes it's exhausting and a lot of it can be toxic. But at the end of the day, doing that time, very, 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 very thankful that I was healthy enough and um, just physically able, mentally able to serve. And I've grown a ton, dude. But I still act like I'm 12, so it's cool. We don't got to talk about that. Um, no, but that's that's the beauty of life, man, is being able to be super serious one moment when you need to and then just goofing off and like taking life like easy and like just chilling, 
you know, when it's not a big deal. Sorry, I just got super deep there for a little bit about the military. Not a big deal. I had like, dude, the army, the military is going to fuck you in the ass at the end of the day, like metaphorically, obviously, with their big green weenie because that's what they do. They're like, hey, sign the line. It's like you signing up to be a model and then they're like, hey, um, take your clothes off. <laughs> this guy's gonna fuck you and you're like wait this is porn they're like oh yeah but you signed the line you didn't read that part that's what the army's like you basically like sign up and then literally every single day for your whole contract you get screwed over with lots of work and getting out of that and a bunch of this bullshit that's not worth it but it is worth it because you grow as a person and the benefits are amazing so yeah i love the beach i love 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 the beach so i moved down here to south carolina myrtle beach area it's actually pretty dope dude one room apartment this apartment complex is pretty dope it's got some pools that the deepest um the deepest the pool goes though <laughs> bro it's four feet and i get that there's families here with kids but it's three and four feet if a pool is going to be created the shallowest it should be unless you have kids, should be five feet. If you're under five foot and as a dot, you probably shouldn't exist because you'll just drown and they'll weed you out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Okay, four feet. I'll give it to four feet. If you're under four foot, dwarves, I'm sorry, bro. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking around. But for real, I like deep pools. I like to be able to dive and shit. And I get here and I'm like, okay, I can tan next to the pool, but why the fuck would I get in the water when the beach is 10 minutes away? You know what I'm saying? So I just spend a lot of time at the beach. Um, having a good time getting ready to actually attend school upon army benefits, which is really cool. And I know a lot about that shit if you guys ever have questions. Again, drop comments, dude. Ask questions, comment, make fun of me. Um, I'll make fun of you. Whatever. We'll have a big party out here, bro. We'll all be lovers, you know what I'm saying? Not in a like sexual way, but just in a very like casual <laughs> way. <laughs> All right, guys, so I don't really have an agenda for this podcast ever, and that's a beautiful thing. I'm not going to be like a deep religious podcast. I'm not going to be a military podcast. Fuck that shit. Don't want to talk about that anymore. But I'm just going to bring up random stuff, dude, that I think is hilarious, and we're going to explore the internet a little bit sometimes, and we're just going to have a good time. I know um, I've really been thinking about making a podcast for a long time. I don't know if I already said that, but... And now just like finally like let's do this shit bro let's just do it i mean obviously it's kind of like the background's a little boring but we'll work on it and we're gonna get some shit up that's gonna be really cool and as i progress man you know share it comment bro like this shit tell your friends about it and enjoy it bro we got mr pelican over here um and yeah man it's just me and him chilling it's uh i actually got this at um, a store, you know, I bought that at a store one time about like a, a little over a year ago. I bought that at a store. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, man, so I could tell you a lot about who I am and all that shit, but at the end of the day, I don't really know who I am, you know, and I don't know if I'm like a goth person that wears all black and listens to Marilyn Manson and corn all day. I don't know if I'm like someone who wears Hawaiian shirts and shorts and flip flops every single place I go and just vibe out with my cool shades and my longer hair that's not getting long enough fast enough or i could just be the dude that wears those cringy military shirts you know with jeans and cowboy boots and or i could be the guy that that wears those cowboy boots with um a ball cap and i just look like a country boy i don't really know dude i do it all we do it all here um the only thing i don't do is um rap music and um yeah, it's about it. Not just kidding. Actually, recently, there's like five rap songs that I like. And I, dude, they go hard. And I like that shit. So if you have suggestions for rap music, bro, drop those too. Let's go. Your boy's trying to be open-minded. I listen to a bunch of music. Tom Petty's my favorite artist. Yeah, we can go on for days about that. And yeah, man. So I guess like I, I kind of made notes for this shit, but that doesn't really matter, right? Because whoever actually sticks to the plan, not me. Um, <laughs> but anyways... I'm sure you've all heard of Stranger Things, bro. I'm sure you all got that Netflix subscription. If you don't, you're watching off of your moms like me. Netflix, don't cancel me for this. I actually live with her, so it's fine. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I just exposed myself. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Anyways, um, my ear itches. That's weird. Um, but yeah, dude, so Stranger Things, bro. I got to talk about this show. This show, I was like, I was so certain that this show was like the best show ever. But um, I guess this this last season really just let me down, man. And it's almost like, it's not like I chose to be let down. It's like deep, deep, 
inside my heart and soul, I felt let down. <laughs> and let me tell you why. Just give me one second. So, essentially, Stranger Things, the build-up, the character, the character, um, what's it, progression or whatever, how the characters become better over time, all that shit, dude, is so good in the show, and I love, love, love this show, dude. And I loved it for so long. And I've been dying for season four to come out, man. But the thing that bothered me about season four is they build it up so much that I feel like they let us down. And I don't know if you guys watch that show or if you even like that show. Maybe you think it's stupid. I know it's like kind of like a love or hate show, apparently. Because I'd be like, hey, do you watch Stranger Things? People would be like, what? No, fuck that show. You watch a show about aliens with a bunch of kids? And it's like, dude, that's not what it's about. Give it a chance, you know? Or they think it's like some horror sci-fi shit. It's like, dude, this shit's hilarious, bro. There's kids and they're goofing off. The dude that played in fucking It as a kid plays in, plays Mike in this, dude. And I'm like, well, dude, this, you know, has nothing to do with anything. I just think it's hilarious because he looked like such a nerd in It, bro, because he was like four years old. But now he just plays a scrawny, annoying, Mike, Mike, you don't say you love me anymore. And that's my L voice, apparently, because I can't do a girl voice. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that actor's really cool, actually. I, I forget his name, dude, but he, like, actually has a band or some shit. Because I looked him up on Instagram once, and I was like, follow the whole entire Stranger Things <laughs> cast on Instagram because I was fanboying a little hard about this the show. And that's another thing, guys. Um, I don't know about you, but, like, when I start watching a show... I get like super into it and like I like part of my personality becomes the show. And it's like what am I doing really, you know? It's like when I was watching Vampire Diaries, I was drinking whiskey and like thinking about breaking people's necks all the time because, you know, they might be vampires too. I'll just come back to life. It's okay. <laughs> and when I was watching Game of Thrones, I was drinking wine and looking up Daenerys on certain websites that you shouldn't go to as a person. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bro. Anyways, um, <laughs> no more comments on that one. Anyways, I've become very invested. And I saw this when I like saw the merch of like Stranger Things. I was like, dude, I would have bought this stuff when I was watching it and like halfway through season two when i've already saw season one i was like dude this show's dope and when i'm continue on going on and going on and going on and getting really into it but literally after three days of watching it, i would never wear that stuff again unless it's like the hellfire club t-shirt it's kind of cool but like i never i was like gonna get a stranger things lanyard a stranger things i was like dude if you're a nerd that's okay and that's cool i used to be like a hardcore nerd with marvel stuff marvel kind of ruined everything um after endgame for me but um yeah man it's cool like embrace it but for me personally i think it's hilarious because like they come out with merch for like these tv shows and it's like yeah you rock it but then like are you really about that show still like after it's over or disappoints you i don't i don't know but anyways it's also it's cool to rep what you like you know though because i wear i wear shirts about certain things that i like i try to represent the companies that i like so that's cool do your thing don't mean to throw shade on you um but yeah man i just feel like stranger things is really good and they're they're leading they're they are leading it in a good direction to make it really awesome but let me tell you the biggest thing man they've been they always hype up l she is like the main character l is the main character and they always make it seem like she's so powerful so powerful and in season four this is all spoiler alert so if you haven't seen it you want to watch it probably would pause this or skip ahead a little bit um but yeah sh they make her seem so powerful so amazing all this shit and then literally the final thing when she's facing vecna is like mike tells her he loves her which apparently the whole entire season he hasn't said it in a while because they were distance relationship you never say you love me anymore so how do i know that's not what she says but that's basically what she portrays and then when she's fighting vecna she's about to give up and lose but mike whispers he's like l i love you and then she just magically becomes powerful and screams and vecna flies away and i was like dude in the end of season two 
Elle was literally hovering, like levitating from using her energy. And now you just got this dumb shit. Like, I don't know if they're trying to like target the audience with this whole like emotional love shit or whatever, but it's annoying as hell. I was like, dude, I need Elle to fly, bro. I need her to fly. She has energy telekinesis to move shit with her mind. She can move herself with her mind. Make her fly. Make her fly. And you know what? I even looked this up earlier. I was like, maybe it's based off a comic book. So that's why they're doing all this shit, whatever. And I look it up and it's like, it's not based off a book. Apparently it's based off these brothers or some shit and it's based off true <laughs> not true events but conspiracy things like from actual events that have happened that's what it says and i'm like sitting there and i'm like what the fuck and then like a hawkins obviously hawkins is made up i didn't know if it was made up but apparently it's a made up place in indiana because watch the show and we know that but i looked it up hawkins isn't real but apparently in indiana some shit went down that nobody actually knows what happened and they turned it into a tv show which is actually fucking dope also if you don't like profanity you might not want to watch this podcast do i have to put an explicit sticker on like the thing to make sure i don't get like taken down (laughs) explicit parent advisory parent advisory warning parent advisory warning parents advisory explicit content dude says fuck a lot whatever and if you're older and you have kids your kids cussing at in sixth grade just to be cool unless she's me then uh in sixth grade i wasn't actually in sixth grade i was cussing a little bit it was about eighth grade i swore off cussing because that's a sin so don't do that if you're religious don't do that because you might go to hell um (laughs) but anyways guys um i want to share this really cool thing with you also you guys are going to see me from episode to episode we're gonna improve like the setup and everything hopefully the audio and everything but this is the first episode man you gotta start somewhere right and what i want to promise you guys is that i will stop saying um okay because i've noticed i've said um quite a lot (laughs) and that's really frustrating because here's one of the things before i get into what i was gonna say told you rabbit holes dude i told you but like when people say um you don't really notice until you notice and then you can't unnotice you know you can't um notice it (laughs) can't unnotice it but for real so i'll stop saying um but anyways guys earlier i was like trying to get ideas for what to talk about um just to kick off the episode you know it's the pilot man it either crashes and burns or we fly high to heaven and we get home safe you know what i'm saying bought this for 20 dollars at walmart don't hate me for it um but anyways i found this website and i thought it would be kind of fun to go over some pickup lines and you guys dude you're not gonna believe this shit i searched pickup lines that's it actually let me go back i don't want to lose this link because i'll cry did i lose it no well good thing i remember it anyways dude i (laughs) actually i think it's gonna come back up oh yeah it came back up so sorry sorry (laughs) anyways i don't got like i don't got like i'm not rich and not paying someone to do this for me so i'm doing this all myself in the moment baby let's go anyways um so i searched just pickup lines this is the most hilarious thing ever dude and (laughs) i and then google has like all these little like drop down things you can say and one says what to say to pick up a girl which is interesting because that means a lot of people have searched this says people also ask which i can't get mad at because you know I've been there, and I still am there sometimes, you know, just trying to educate myself and see, you know, learn more about the female brain because they're just psycho and, you know, they got their own way of thinking, you know. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding, actually. You guys are psycho, but it's cool. Um, Be psycho. We like it that way. Um, I just said um again. So it says, what to say to pick up a girl? And I'm like, oh, this is going to be great, right? Thinking that it would actually give you genuine advice and it says and i read this i says can i say a poem for you dot 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 do you mind if i talk to you dot 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 you just drop something dot 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 my jaw the only thing we're dropping our jaws at is how bad this is whoever wrote this is a fucking joke so i go down here (laughs) 
Oh, sweet lady. Anyways, I go down here and I click on it. 17 killer pickup lines to say to a woman. Also, just as a disclaimer, I'm about to roast this woman. But if you're out there, precious, I don't hate you. You're awesome. Good website. You made me laugh. You made you literally made my day from this shit. <laughs> so shout out to you. But I click on this, right? We're looking up pickup lines, right? Pickup lines. And I click on this and it's called preciouscore.com. Go check it out. Yeah, I'm shouting out for you. And no one's gonna watch this anyway, so you're not gonna get any views, but it's cool. Um, <laughs> not just kidding, bro. I go to a website, she says, hi, I'm Precious. I'm a mama with many mouths to feed. I develop recipes and share real life stories. Here you will find approachable, insanely delicious, family-friendly recipes. So now, I thought I clicked on a spam link. Something that's trying to get me to buy, you know, her food shit. And enticing me with, hey, here's some pickup lines. But no. The title is literally, 17 killer pickup lines to say to a woman. And she writes, on my Facebook feed the other day, someone complained about how a guy started wooing her by asking, are you related to Whoopi Goldberg? Because you look like her. No, no, no. How dare you say that to a girl? (laughs) Or this one. I love you more than my ID card. (laughs) And then she says, like, seriously? Oh, God. Oh, you think this is bad? You just wait. Or this one. Precious, how precious are you today? I'm writing from the precious hills of Nitorikon to tell you, I don't know where the fuck that is, to tell you how precious you are. Oh, my God. Yes, a guy wrote that to me some years back, and I found it more comical than romantic. Yeah, I actually, okay, so pause on this crazy ass website sometimes dudes just try to be funny over being romantic but that probably he's precious like four times dude probably was just trying way too hard to be romantic and you just came off as a joke you want to be a jokester but not a joke okay obviously some men are oblivious to what to say to a woman and or they just don't have the courage to say the right things women are so moved by words thank you precious Welcome to Precious Core. I'm going to give you the secrets to talking to a woman. And you, that's what you think's about to happen, right? And this is what her website is. I am not kidding. You know what? I'm so not kidding. I'm taking my glasses off for this, bro. I am not kidding. I'm reading this right off the website. She says, I've put together some killer lines which will make your desired woman thrilled. Here we go. And before we go... Buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, because this is horrid. (laughs) This is amazing, actually. Remember, 17, not 17 pickup lines, 17 killer pickup lines, right? Number one. (laughs) Bro, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this. (laughs) Just imagine, okay, every single situation that I read, imagine we're going to reset the situation. So right now, set the situation. There's a girl that you want to talk to, right? Or a girl that a guy wants to talk to. It doesn't have to be you. Maybe you're in a relationship, but just imagine this with me, bro. This is hilarious. A girl that a guy wants to talk to, and this is her advice for 17 killer pickup lines. I've only read the top five, and we're about to go through all 17, so I got some surprises for myself. Number one, (laughs) can I say a poem for you? (laughs) bro it says to adam he gave eve to abraham he gave sarah and to me he gave you (laughs) that is the most unromantic thing that i've ever heard and in today's society if you use that first of all if she's religious probably still not gonna like that because Oh, cringe. And second of all, if you're telling any woman nowadays that she's just there for you, you might wind up with a nice red handprint on your face. But you do you. Just saying, though, for real, this is something that me back in, like, 10th grade would have said, probably. 
to a another religious girl would never say this to someone who's not religious because first of all it's fucking weird second of all stop so what we can learn about precious is that maybe she loves the lord and that's cool number two do you mind if i talk to you my mother always told me to follow my dreams well first of all you said, do you mind if I talk to you? My mother always told me to follow my dreams. Because you can't say, do you mind if I follow you? Because that's serial killer shit. You can't say that. So, do you mind if I talk to you? My mother always told me to follow my dreams. So cringy, dude. Please do not use that one. Actually, that one's, I guess, if maybe you're in high school, it could be kind of funny and cute. But I don't recommend any of these that I've seen yet. Third one I already read when we first opened up this su subject. You just drop something. My jaw. I wonder... <laughs> Dude, I wonder if after you say this, you're supposed to go... <laughs> because we know you didn't actually drop your jaw, bro. If you did, you wouldn't say that shit. Because this is a guaranteed fail. You just drop something. My jaw. Oh my God. Do better. Also, this is a woman writing this, so maybe I have no stance to say what's good and bad. But just from having common sense, do not do this. <laughs> Dude, this is the best one yet. Number four, bro. This is so, so bad. I've been staring at your profile picture for ages. I still can't stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Stalker, dude. Stalker, bro. And her profile picture could literally be like of her dog or some shit. And he's like, I've been staring at your profile. I'm, I'm guessing this one is more like on a social media platform, but still so creepy. I've been staring at your profile picture for ages. I still can't stop, bro. We're calling the cops. <laughs> I'm calling the cops <laughs> if you do that. No, I'm just kidding. Have fun. Use it. I dare you. Actually, some of these would be kind of fun just to tease around and use and see what happens to you because I would love to know about it. Um, five. This is so psycho. Dude, the more I read these, I'm starting to think that Precious Core, whoever this woman is, like obviously her last name is probably not Core. It's in cursive and I can't read. So it looks like C-O-R-E. So core, right? But maybe that's the name of her website. Her last name's probably not core, right? Because that's weird. Maybe it is. I can't judge. But I want to say that she's just trying to be funny. Because some of these, no, all of these are so bad that if you use them, you got a death sentence. Number five. Are you a piece of art? Because I'd like to nail you up on my wall. police are on their way okay good what the fuck dude who writes who would ever say that and you're gonna have some like fucking like dude that just turned 21 or like is younger and has a fake id getting into all these bars and shit and he's like oh how do i pick up girls and he's gonna go to this website hopefully he's fucking smart enough but if he has no experience oh he's doomed if he goes to this website and walks up to a girl and says excuse me sweetheart are you a piece of art first of all probably don't say sweetheart <laughs> Are you a piece of art? Because I'd like to nail you on my wall. <clears throat> you know what? I got nothing else to say about that one. That's the worst one so far. That's not even a pickup line, dude. That is literally a serial killer line. Or you're like the Romans and you think she's so good that she's like Jesus and you want to nail her to your wooden wall, bro. Oh, dude, no, it's so bad. Okay, seven, or six, sorry. This is where I hadn't read any of these, so these might surprise me. Um, after looking at you for 0.7 seconds, I got a headache. You can get a headache from looking at someone that bright. <sighs> oh. 
are getting so bad. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you know, after looking at you for 0.7 seconds, I got a headache. You can get a headache. Not even, did you know you can get a headache for looking at something that bright? It literally just says, I got a headache. You can get a headache from looking at something that bright. Oh no, 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 no. By the way, if you are a younger male and you're listening to this shit, you might gain some education and some pointers from this. And don't use any of these fucking pickup lines. Sorry, precious core. Actually, not sorry at all. You are the worst, worst, worst relationship pickup advice that I have ever read. And if you would actually like to hear this, you need to go to therapy. Because you're psycho. Again, all fun and games. Don't sue me. Just kidding. I don't think you can sue someone for saying something offensive. Although in today's culture, maybe you can. Okay, so number seven. You are the kind of girl my mom told me to bring to her. Will you like to go see her with me? (laughs) No! No, dude! No, bro! No! Is your mom the serial killer? Is this the grand climax of the movie where your mom is sending you out to get people to bring back to her so she can murder them in her basement? You're the kind of girl my mom told me to bring to her. What are you? Is your mom running the sex trafficking ring? What the fuck is happening? You're not even complimenting this woman. You're just like, yeah, you're the, you're the kind of girl my mom told to bring to her. No, 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 don't don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, my fucking God. This just gets worse and worse. That is, honestly, that is the best worst one so far. Better than the nailing to my wall, I think. Because this one's kind of like, nailing to your wall is like extreme. Why the fuck would you say that? But number seven, you're my kind of girl my mom told me to bring home to you, to her or whatever. We like to go see her with me. That's like some genuine shit. Like, oh, like, and maybe if you're like, you're like the type of girl that like my mom always told me to look for because, you know, even that's bad. But will you like to go see her with me? Is this insinuating that your relationship is just moving like because you're going to see your mom? No, it means your heart's going to stop moving because she's going to murder you. Your heart's going to be like, boom, 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 boom. And then this dude's going to call you and say, you're the kind of girl my mom told me to bring to her. Would you like to go see her with me? <laughs> and then your husband go, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and then he's gonna put a bag over your head, and then you're just gonna be gone. And so, if anyone ever says that to you, like if you're at the bar or some shit, let the bouncers know because you need to get out of there. And that guy or that guy needs to get out of there. But you need to make sure that he gets out of there without taking you with him to see his mother because she's a psychopath. Okay, on to the next. Number eight. My name is Will. God's will for you. (laughs) Oh my God, dude. And I, I honestly do not know. I do not know. I literally searched pickup lines and then I found this website. This is hilarious, dude. This is amazing for this first episode because what the fuck is this shit? This is so bad. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this is so bad. My name is Will. God's will for you. Don't. Don't. My name's Cam. God's Cam for you. (laughs) Bro, that sounds like fucking uh, God's Cam for you. Like she's a Cam girl or something. That's fucking weird, dude. Don't say that because first of all, your name isn't Will. So she's just going to think you're a liar because you're fucking stupid. And you said, hi, my name is Will. God's Will for you. And even, I swear to God, I know a lot and I'm very close to a lot of religious people. They would not appreciate this. My name's Will. God's will for you. You know, the fact that you said that shows me that you're not God's will for me. So get the fuck out. 
Call the police. No, I'm just kidding. Don't call the police. That one's not that bad. Um, I guess to the certain certain crowd, maybe that would. I don't know, dude. That's kind of cringy. It's cringy, but it might. It's it's not bad compared to the other ones I've read. Okay, number nine. Your face is perfect, like a well put together piece of art. God did a great job on you. Aw. Okay, listen. First of all, this this woman is very religious, apparently. Because every pickup line has to have something about God or her mother or her wall nailing, like, to the cross. So, <laughs> bro, this one's more like a... This one isn't bad, but it's bad for, like, a first... Oh, dude, this is bad. It's bad, but it's not like... If you, were, if you knew someone and you were just like... Hey, like God did a great job on you because you believe in God and you think they're beautiful, or whatever. That's that's kind of cute, you know. I mean, I think so. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it's like God did a great job on you. Like I haven't seen anything as beautiful as you. That's cool. Like God did a great job on you. I haven't seen anything as beautiful as you. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's a lie, you know. But it's true. <laughs> it's true that it's a good pickup line. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, but that that that's kind of sweet. But when he says your face is perfect, and then she words it, your face is perfect. Dot dot dot. Like a well put together piece of art. I don't know. Ladies, you gotta comment on all this shit because you're the one receiving this shit. And I know if you saw this shit, you would be fucking freaking out. Even the religious ladies, I wanna hear from you. All those ladies that serve the Lord and you guys love God and shit, comment on what you think about this one. Your face is perfect, like a well put together piece of art. God did a great job on you. I feel like for the first pickup line, that's weird as fuck. But I feel like after a little bit of time, like that could be like a cute compliment. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. All right, number 10. <laughs> I look at you and I can only imagine how blissful my life will be waking up next to you every morning. <laughs> Bro, dude, no. See, this is where you take a sweet line and you make it creepy as fuck. Because if you're like, dude, no, it's all creepy, bro. All these are creepy. I, I don't even, if, even if I read a good one at this point, I'm so jaded from this website that I would be like, fuck, this is so bad. Um, I look at you and I can only imagine how blissful my life would be. Okay, so if you, if you were to say this, you could, okay, maybe, maybe, I'm not the expert out here, but you could be like, I look at you and I can only imagine how like blissful my life would be next to you. Or living next to you, or not living like house, but like spending it with you. Literally, that's it. I look at you and I can only imagine how blissful my life would be spending it with you. Boom. No, let's make this more psycho killer, extreme, religious, culty, weird as fuck woman writes, I look at you and I can only imagine how blissful my life will be waking up next to you every morning. First of all, if this is a pickup line, you don't know this person and they don't want to wake up to you every morning until they have dated you for a certain amount of time to where they are sure and actually in love with you. Okay, I'm getting too serious about this shit. This shit's fucking stupid, dude. Do not say that. Please don't say it. Honestly, what I said before, like this is still kind of cringy, but I'm not an expert again and I think it's kind of sweet. You know? Hopeless romantic. What can we say? Um, Number 11. Guys, this is amazing. I, I honestly like didn't really have like because I said we'll be all over the place, and but this is hilarious because I came up on this earlier when I was thinking about ideas, dude. And this is so fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Every single one of these is fucking hilarious. So let's continue on number eleven. Here we go. Your eyes are beautiful. Are you wearing contacts? In parentheses, only say this if she's not wearing contacts. Oh, no, dude. This is so, so, so bad, dude. Your eyes are beautiful. Are you wearing contacts? Only say this if she's not wearing contacts. 
Bro, first of all, if you're out somewhere using a pickup line, you probably can't fucking tell if she's wearing contacts because you probably saw her from a long distance and maybe you realize she had blonde hair, blue eyes, or maybe she's a brunette with beautiful brown eyes, or maybe she got black hair with blue eyes, which is kind of rare. Maybe she's got black hair with brown eyes, or maybe she's got blonde hair with green eyes, but it says only say this as long as she's not wearing contacts. Which, ladies, again, you guys need to comment on this because I have no idea what's up with this. I don't have your perspective, but I would imagine if you were like, your eyes are beautiful, are you wearing contacts? First of all, that's like kind of like, oh, you don't think my eyes can be that beautiful naturally? Right? Isn't that what you'd think if you're not wearing contacts? Like, what kind of pickup line is this? This is hot garbage, dude. Only say this as long as she's not wearing contacts. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Don't do that. Don't do that. And most of the time, you won't be able to tell if you run contacts. And if you can, you're probably way too close. And if her eyes are like some exotic color, chances are she's probably wearing colored contacts. So according to the rules on this website, don't say that shit. Oh my God, guys. Number 12, baby. We love the number 12. Don't know why, but we do. Can I share a story with you? That's number 12. But wait. But wait. There's more, baby. Can I share a story with you? And then in parentheses, once again, stop with the fucking parentheses. We just need good pickup lines. Not like this situational, like, oh my God, dude. Can I share a story with you? Go ahead to tell her a story of a man who gave his all to make a woman fall in love with him. Tell her you are that man and she is that woman. That's it, I'm done. I'm done. Imagine walking up to someone and saying, <laughs> can I share a story with you? First of all, I don't know you and you're creepy, so no. Second of all, no. <laughs> But say for, for, just say, maybe she says yes, okay? Maybe she says, sure, go ahead, tell me a story. And then you spend how long talking to her about this story about a man falling in love with a woman, and then at the end of the story, you already bored her to death with some boring-ass Shakespeare bullshit. But you say, <laughs> so there was this Romeo and Juliet, and they fell in love the first day they met, and then their parents forbidden them, so he killed her, or he, she killed him, or they, none of them killed each other, but one of them killed themselves because they couldn't deal with the emotional trauma or the emotional damage of thinking the other one was dead, and then the other one faked their death, so they actually weren't dead, and they woke up, and then they saw that the other one was dead, so they killed themselves. And then they woke up and saw that they killed themselves for real, and then they killed themselves. You know, me, I'm Romeo, you, you're Juliet. <laughs> So, so, so bad. Obviously, Romeo and Juliet's the wrong story. But even even if you picked a good story, bro, you're going to be sitting there talking. That's so bad, dude. Do not. Bro, again, anyone watching this, guys, 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 do not, do not. I don't even think I should have to say that, but I am saying it for you guys because I care about you if whatever the situation is. I don't give a shit. Don't say any of this. Okay, this one is kind of cute. I'll give it some credit. Number 13. Number 13. Unlucky number 13. You guys got to comment, though, and tell me what you think on this one because this one's kind of fucking crazy, dude. Number 13. Was that just you smiling or the sun just coming out? Actually, no, it's bad. I can't even read it, dude. Was that just you smiling or the sun coming out? And it's, like, dark as shit. There's, like, live music in the bar. There's, like, strobe lights in the club. Hey, is it... Is that just you smiling or is like the sun coming out? And she's just gonna look at you like the fuck? Dude, go to the psych board, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. So funny. Alright, number 14. Let me every time I'm talking to you guys about these, I try to like kind of read the next one in my head, like that speed ma that rocket math that you did in elementary school where you're like trying to look at the next problem so you can figure it out and do it as fast as you possibly can. I'm trying to read the one next to it while I talk to you so I can like see what I'm up for. But I didn't read this one at all. Number 14, your eyes have told me lots of things. The only thing they haven't told me is your name. No. 
Honestly, this one isn't that bad, but here's the thing, dude. If you tell her your eyes have told me lots of things, you're already telling her, like, hey, you've been giving me fuck me eyes all night. Your eyes have been telling me lots of things, but they haven't told me your name. First of all, maybe she wasn't, and she was just looking around, and you guys made eye contact at the same time, and you're overthinking it because you're a horny dude, and then you walk up to her and say this? That's so fucking creepy. Don't do that. Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, you know, I shouldn't be saying that out here, you know? Just saying Jesus, but... And that one, that this woman apparently thinks if you see a girl be beautiful enough that you think she's Jesus, you should nail her to your fucking wall, dude. Oh my God, I cannot believe. First of all, I can't believe, I, I do believe that there are people out there like this crazy, but I cannot believe that someone paid to make a website with these on a list. It's so bad. But she's getting like views from me, I guess. That's cool, right? Your eyes have told me lots of things. The only thing they haven't told me is your name. Okay. You know what? Do better. Just walk up and be like, hey, can I have your Instagram? I think you're cute. Boom. That's it, bro. This is this is insanity. Oh, my God. Okay. Number 15. God, I got to pee, bro. Anyways, number 15. I saw a garden this morning, and I thought it was the most beautiful ever until I met you okay not creepy just bad just bad just bad i saw a garden this morning a garden dude be better say like the sunrise i woke up early i'm motivated you know no that's cringy too just be like yeah i got up and i saw the sunrise it was so gorgeous but then i saw you and i realized like there are more beautiful things out there you know that's still bad but that's better than i saw a garden this morning and i thought it was the most beautiful ever until i met you yeah because the garden's full of venus fly traps and cactuses from walmart it's not beautiful but sweetheart you're very beautiful you know i thought it was the most beautiful thing because it's green and it's spiky and it's pointy and you could put it on your car dash because you don't need to water it because it's a cactus but you do sometimes or you could put it in your house or whatever but then i met you and I realized that you could wake up next to me every morning. <laughs> you know, this is this is all bad. You know, you're talking about bringing her home to your mom. You're talking about waking up next to her every morning. You're talking about nailing her to the wall. Like, make up your goddamn mind, woman. Why are you writing this shit? Why are you doing this? This has to be a joke. If she is just doing this for comedy's sake, she is a winner. If she's doing this for real, which I think is what she's doing. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You should not have access to the internet. That's what you shouldn't have. <laughs> I love 14. Though. Your eyes have told me lots of things. The only thing they haven't told me is your Snapchat. Can I get it? <laughs> so bad, dude. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ah, no. Okay, uh, 15. Solid guard. Okay, cool. 16. Oh, we're getting towards the end. Fuck, dude. This is fun, man. I don't want this to end, bro. 16. I must be in heaven because I'm looking at an angel. You know, here's the thing, man. A lot of these are like... If I was like 16 years old and trying to impress my godly Christian crush at the time and just make her laugh and smile, maybe I would use this one. I must be in heaven because I'm looking at an angel. 16 max maybe younger dude the younger you are this is cuter like i must be in heaven because i'm looking at an angel cute dude if you become older dude even maybe like 16 is too old but if you become older than 16 and you use that this woman's website literally says hi i'm precious i'm a mama with many mouths to feed me she has a lot of kids and rest so she's at least i mean even if she had kids at a young age she's at least in her 30s probably i mean her profile picture looks like she's in her late 30s if you're younger than that i'm sorry but you do and she's out here saying that guys should say i must be in heaven because i'm looking at an angel and so hear me out guys and you guys are going to agree with this especially the younger crowd older crowd bear with me bro because you guys got some things going on dude there is an age where the older crowd thinks that these old cringy things are cute so if she's 40 45 and she's single with some kids 
yeah, if some manly dude came up to her and said, I must be in heaven because I'm looking for an angel, or I want to nail you to my wall, or I want to wake up to you every morning, or let me take you home to my 85-year-old mother who's been telling me to look for a girl like you, they might be turned on by that. But, if you're like 35 or younger, you know this is bad. You know this is bad. It's so bad. Do not say this unless you're a very young kid. If you're a sixth grader watching this, you want to press your crush at school, say, hey, am I in heaven? Because I'm looking at an angel. She'll laugh. She'll think it's cute. It's not a dirty pickup line. Whatever. But, and if you're 50 and you're just trying to like sweeten up to that other 50-year-old woman or that 65-year-old woman or that. But if you're 50 and you're trying to, you're that like that 50-year-old that has a lot of money and you're trying to go for those 22-year-olds, this is not going to work. All right? So first of all, stop being a fucking creeper. And second, and second of all, don't use this fucking pickup line. You're welcome. You would think being 50, you'd have enough experience, but whatever. Um, number 17. There must be... And this is the last one, so this better be fucking good. Oh my... Oh my god! Dude! Number 17, the last one. There must be something wrong with my eyes. Can I take... Oh, no, this isn't as funny, bro. See, this is where programming comes in. This is what it says. There must be something wrong with my eyes. I can't take them off you. Just kind of, dude, number 17 is the best one. It, you know what? Comment. I'm going to read through all these really quick, and then you tell me which one. No, you know what? You already heard them all. You can fast forward. I don't want to bore you guys with reading through all of them again. But number 17, in my opinion, is the best one. Is there something wrong? There must be something wrong with my eyes. I can't take them off you. You can say it so casual, so nice, so sweet. But because she talked about nailing someone to her wall, waking up next to her every single day, taking her home to her mother, all these fucking creepy things, my mind literally read, there must be something wrong with your eyes. Can I take them off you? And I thought that this guy was going to be gouging out some chick's eyes because they're so gorgeous, dude. Because that's what this little, this girl's into that shit, bro. This girl has some deep kinks that she doesn't want to talk about. She says stuff like, oh my, dude, oh my God. Anyways, number 17 woman, good job. That's the best one. Honestly, obviously, if you're a middle-aged man, if you're in your 20s, you're probably never going to say something like this because it's, it's just cringy, honestly. Well, those of you guys who have been out there doing whatever, trying to pick up chicks or whatever, but for those of you guys who are like new or don't consider yourself to have much experience, it's not bad. I, I just, dude, just just be honest, bro. Be com- dude, guys need to be more confident, bro. Be confident as fuck. And some of you need a couple of these to be confident. Don't get enough of these to be stupid. That's what I used to be. I just drink a bunch of these and then look like a fucking idiot. Doesn't matter how attractive you are, bro. You're fucked if you get drunk as fuck because you're a fucking idiot. So don't get drunk. Just get a buzz. Have a good time and be honest, bro. If you think she's cute, tell her. Don't do some crazy shit like, oh, you're the woman my mom's been telling me about. Do you want to come home to see her with me? bro okay we're about to wrap this up because i'm trying to keep this around an hour but let me do one more thing before we leave and i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna search good i'm gonna search best best pickup lines and we're gonna see what comes up the number one right okay 40 best pickup lines ever dude this is so bad i haven't seen it yet but i'm just imagining it's so bad 40 best pickup lines ever Oh my God. Now it's a list of 40. But the first one is, well, here I am. What are your other two wishes? Okay. Compared to Precious, this one is fucking good. It probably won't work. I'm not a girl. I'm not female. I don't know what they like. Maybe. But this one is way better than all 17 as I want. So here's the thing. This is only number one on the list. And if you guys want, comment down below. We will go deeper, deeper, deeper. And we will search into what the deep, dark internet has to say about pickup lines. What these psycho people like Precious have to say about pickup lines. But for now, that's going to be the end of this episode, man. And, well, I am here. What are your other two wishes, baby? She's got three wishes from the genie. And apparently she wished for you. So narcissistic to think she wants you. But that's okay. Maybe it's not okay to her, but whatever. You know what we do out here, man. All right, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. My name is Cam, and this is my bullshit. Wow. 
that website was so fucking funny, dude. Oh my god, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Not even, not even exaggerating. Oh my god. <laughs>